Hello and welcome to this new video. Today I show you how to upgrade your PX5, PX6 or PX30 to Android 10 using Mod Installer Pro. First we go to the settings, all the way down at System, About Machine and have a look at the MCU version. In my case I have a MTCA HA. The version is 3.40. If you have an older MCU version installed then upgrade it to the latest version. To do this we go to the following page and choose the correct version. The ending must be correct. In my case is HA but there are also GS or CHS or many more different MCUs. And in each case you should install only the same version. So if you have a MTCA HA then you should only install the HA version. Choose the latest version, double click on the file and in the upper right corner we can click on download. Afterwards we unpack the archive with WinRAR and copy the file dmcu.img to a FAT32 formatted USB flash drive and connect it to the radio. Then a message should appear automatically. If not we can click on MCU update and the update should start automatically. So after the MCU is updated we will deal with one limitation and that is the Bluetooth module. For this we go to the car settings, factory settings, enter the password. In my case the password is 126 but there are also devices that have the password 3386 or M123456. Click on OK. On the first page in the top left corner we see the built in Bluetooth module. If you have a MD725 it will not work with Android 10. If you have a SD968 like me the whole thing is described quite well on the page of HAL9K. There are two different versions, one with the firmware from March 2017. This one does not work with Android 10 yet. There is a workaround but it requires root rights, which is not yet available for Android 10. If you have the firmware from August 2017, it works fine with Android 10. So then we click on exit. Next we try to get into the recovery. This is not necessary but desirable, because in case something happens this can be helpful. With my device it's like this. I have to press the power key for a long time until the K illumination starts blinking. Now I let it go briefly and press again briefly. Now the radio is in recovery mode. As I said, it's not necessary but it's good if you can do it. If you are currently still on Android 6, the firmware must be updated to the latest version. You can also find this again on Yandex. Select it with a double click, in the upper right corner you can download the archive. Unzip the archive with WinRAR and copy the update.emg to a FAT32 formatted USB flash drive and connect it to the radio. Android 8 is similar, you have to update the firmware to the last available version. For this we go to this archive, again double click and in the upper right corner we can download. Unpack the archive with WinRAR, copy the update.zip in this case to a FAT32 formatted USB flash drive and connect it to the radio and perform the update process. So now we have finished a part of the preparations. Next we go back to the settings, system, about machine and write down the serial number. With the serial number we go to the following page. The link to it of course in the video description. Here we find the description of the Mod Installer Pro 2 in three different languages. Here we find again the restriction for the two Bluetooth modules and here we find the links for Android 6 and 8 for the latest firmware versions. And if we scroll down we can find a field for PayPal. Normally the Mod Installer Pro costs 10 euro. If you bought it last year it will cost you 7 euro. Just choose the processor you have, in my case it's a PX6 and enter the serial number you have and click on pay. Within one day you should receive a download link from HAL9K for your Mod Installer Pro, which will only work on your device with the correct serial number. The whole thing is also packed into an archive, you have to unpack it with WinRAR. Here we have the APK file, we need this and we need the firmware file. For this we go to this page. Here we have the folder for PX30 Android 10, PX5 Android 10 and here PX6 Android 10. I need this for example. Then I go in here. Then I have the choice between CHS firmware, HA and HCT. I like the HCT best. Here we have the well known HCT forum, as you have seen it on Android 9 or the HCT 7 which looks like this. Here are also some preview pictures. Choose the most current on here. It will show that the download limit is already reached, but if you double click on the file and click in the upper right corner, the download will start normally. I already done that. 
Here is the archive and has to be unpacked with WinRAR. Then I have the update.zip here, here the mod installer pro, here I have my USB flash drive, you should format it in FAT32, select FAT32, standard size and click on start. After formatting we take the APK of mod installer pro, select copy and paste the file on the USB flash drive. Then we need the update.zip, we copy this also to the USB flash drive and continue on the radio. Before we now install the Mod Installer Pro, we go to the Settings, System, Reset Options, Erase All Data, Reset Machine and click on Erase Everything. Now we first do a factory reset. This is very important to do, so that everybody has the same starting situation and that no unpredictable errors occur. Now we connect the USB flash drive with the radio. If the flash drive is recognized, we don't execute the update. First we go to the file manager or apk installer. Select the mod installer pro and install it. Then we open the mod installer pro and select the desired android version. In this case of course android 10 and just click on install. Here we are asked if the mod installer pro gets root rights. Of course grant them. Afterwards the radio starts directly into the new recovery. You can see here above 10.2.1. We now select apply update from SD card or USB. Select from USB. You can of course also do it via SD card if you like it. This process can take between 5 and 20 minutes depending on the device. After the process is finished we press reboot system now for a long time. And now we see the Android 10 boot logo. The installation is now complete. Here we see now the HTC 7 UI. It also has a night mode, everything looks very nice. But it has a disadvantage. You can't adjust anything on the first page. You can't move or delete these widgets or anything like that. You have to configure everything on the next pages. Also the lower bar here below can't be configured. Not yet, maybe there is something. I'll keep you informed. Otherwise everything works really well. The GPS reception has improved dramatically on Android 10. That's an advantage. Otherwise I don't see other advantages at the moment. I personally wait until HAL 9K brings his Android version. Only then I will upgrade from Android 9 to 10. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give the video a thumbs up. If you are not yet a subscriber of my channel, then subscribe to it. Bye and see you next time.